Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez and today I'm going to be showing you a kind of unboxing on the Flashpoint Explorer 600 TTL strobe by Adorama. Uh, the reason why I'm calling it the kind of unboxing is because I already have opened it before and I did make it in a previous unboxing video but I wanted to make, you know, I wanted to redo it. So this is why I'm doing this video. The first thing I did want to show you guys is the case itself. Um, it comes for free and it has this little business card area and it also has these little was it these little bumpers here on the bottom? Let's see. Um, well, not bumpers. I guess the better word to use is railings. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, these little things over here, they'll protect the strobe from, I guess, you know, a little bit of impact that, you know, if you do drop the, drop the bag, uh, the case, and it'll, it'll keep it cleaner. So, you know, that's the first thing I did want to show you guys in this video. So, you know, I guess the next thing I will show you is, you know, the stuff that's inside. There's the inside. So I'm gonna be showing you guys each item in the box individually. And the first thing I did wanna show you is the, the manual. I do recommend you guys you know, read it for, at least for five minutes. I'm pretty sure it'll answer a lot of questions you guys might have. But if you do have any questions after watching the video, you know, just let me know. So I'm gonna you know, show you each item and then toss it to the side. So I'm gonna to toss this to the side now. Okay, so next up is the battery charger. You know, what can I say more that it, you know, charges the battery and it has, you know, it has the level right here. So, you know, you know when it'll be full. And now I'm gonna test this aside. Before I forget, it does come with a strap, of course, to, you know, to hold the case, you know, over your shoulder. But yeah, you know, it's very simple. You know, I thought, you know, some cases do ha have straps that, you know, you have to figure out, but this is fairly simple. You, you know, you just gotta open up the clip and then just attach it to the side. Okay, so the next thing I did want to show you guys is the reflector. It's seven inches, you know, it comes with this little, this little diffusion panel right here. Uh, that's really simple to take off and put, and put back on. Oh, well, it's simple, but I'm making it look difficult. Yeah, there you go. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm saving the Explorer, you know, for last because it is the best thing in the box. So yeah, this is the bulb. Um, it's not that hard to take out. I do know one person who did break their bulb while trying to take it out. You know, you know, I'm pretty sure not all of you guys are hulks out there. So it, all you gotta do is just, you know, get a little bit of friction and just start to slowly pull it out. And you know, it's fairly simple like that. Okay, so here's the bulb all nice and neat by itself. Um, the good thing about the Explorer's bulb design is that it's supposed to fit modifiers a lot nicer because of the way it protrudes. There's, there are other bulb designs by like, for, for example, the previous strobe by Flashpoint, the Rove light it actually had like a, a circular bulb design. So this bulb is actually nicer. Let me actually get it better in focus. It's actually nicer to use for modifiers. It better distributes the light. And actually, you know, one important thing is that you don't wanna, you know, the oils in your, ha in your hands are actually gonna mess up the bulb. So I would advise you to just put it on and just never take it off unless you need to. Next up is the battery. Um, the battery itself lasts 450 full powered shots. If you use TTL and high speed sync, it's gonna last a little less. But of course, if you use less than full power, you know, like fourth power, it's gonna last, you know, a lot longer. I know a lot of people out there that use this battery, you know, for several sessions. I used it myself like five sessions in a row. And, you know, I tend to use a, a lot of power on it. So yeah, this is the battery. It has this little button here on the yeah let me see right side up there you go it has this little button here that you can push to see the power level you know that's handy and this is of course is where you're going to plug it in to charge so yeah that's that's the battery all right last but not least is the strobe itself this is the explore 600 ttl um of course it just it is missing the battery i'll you know i'll add that right now it's not that hard you know just make sure that it's you know the the sides are matching you know these little squares with the line you know this little thing on the bottom right here um, you know, make it sure it's aligned and then just slide it down a little bit and then it should just lock into place. Yeah, there you go. Locked into place already. So yeah, that's the, that's the battery. Um, the next thing to do, I guess I'll show you guys is how to put the bulb in. It's another thing that's not that hard to do. You're going to slide down this little, you know, this little lock right here, this locking mechanism. You're going to slide it down to unlock and then you're going to twist this off. 
and then you're able to take off the, co the cover and then you're going to grab the bulb which I, I placed right here it's hiding and just make sure that it's lined up like this and just pop it in and there you go that should be it all right guys so this is the flashpoint explorer you know in its full prime in its full level final level it has the battery on and it has the bulb on so i'm, I'm going to turn it on now okay so obviously you can't see the lcd screen yet so i'm going to change the iso to 100 see there you go you guys can see it now um I have it on the right mode that you need to be in, which is this little Wi-Fi mode, with the little Wi-Fi Wi-Fi symbol looking thing there. But I'm gonna change it. Let's see. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna change it to the mode you guys are probably seeing when you open the strobe for the first time, which is probably this. So in order to get to the correct mode, you need to push this little Z button, and then that's all you need to be in right there. That little Wi-Fi mode right there. Make sure that channels in the right channel and the groups in the right group, and you'll be able to, you'll be able to connect it with the R2 transmitter, which more than likely you guys got with the strobe and actually I have the, the transmitter right here so let me show you that right now all right guys so this is the R2 transmitter you know this is how it should look like to you guys so you know first thing you want to do is make sure it's on on of course you can actually um, turn on the the modeling lamp right here you can actually turn it I'm going to leave it on for a second. You can actually turn it off and on using the transmitter. Let me see. All you have to do is double tap this channel button right here. Double tap it. You know, I'm actually using two other explorers to, to light this video. So when I, you know, when I turn off the, the light right now for the, the one that I'm showing you, it actually turned off the other explorer's lights. So I'm going to double tap it. So there you go. You know, um, you guys are probably also, let me get this closer. You guys are also probably in, you know, just ABC mode or something like that. Um, what I recommend is if you can, you know, not all um, cameras support this, but if you can go to group mode, which is, um, you gotta, all you gotta do is hold this little mode. Let's see. All you gotta do is hold this little mode button right here. And then it'll bring it into group mode. And from there, you'll, you'll be able to get five groups, A, B, C, D, and E. And then that's it. this is the 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 mode that I'm always in. So yeah, there you go. And actually, it was shooting TTL a second ago. So that's you know that's all. I'm pretty sure aside from this, you know, the transmitter. This is all you need. You know, the the Explorer has a built-in receiver. So yeah. All right, guys. So that was my little bit of an unboxing for the Explorer 600 TTL strobe. But I do want to leave you with one tip. And that is to not over tighten the handle. Um, if you guys, you know, already started loosening it, you guys will, will see that, the, you know, it has these little sections where it clicks into. And if you over tighten it, it will, it will strip those little, you know, something in here and it will, it will get your handle stuck. So I want you guys to make sure that you, once you feel like the little bit of pressure, you know, it's like loose here. And once you feel a little bit of pressure, you should do a little, like a third of a turn, just like that much, like half an inch or no, an inch, and then you're good. It, it's it's very steady. You know, it will not loosen. If you guys had the Rogue Light 600, you would notice that you had to really, really tighten that thing. But with the Explorer, you know, you're pretty much good with the little half turn. But yeah, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. Um, if you have any questions, also let me know. Um, and I hope you guys look forward to the next videos. Okay, so I know I just said goodbye to you all, but I forgot to show you the Explorer next to the Rove light, which was the light that I was using previously, um, before I got the Explorer. So I get asked all the time why I use the Explorer now. And like in, in summary, I use the Explorer mainly because it offers a better remote system that I'm able to use multiple lights and control them very easily. And the Rove light, I wanna say it's a better one light strobe. So that's why I was using it. Um, you know, before I, I use one light all the time. So the rope light was perfect for that. All right, guys. So the very last thing I want to show you is that I forgot to show you the extension arm option for the Explorer. And it's used um, specifically if you want your Explorer to be a lot more lighter, it'll transfer the weight from the top of the strobe to the side of it. And with the extension arm, you can actually use the, use it to boom your light very easily. You can, you know, you don't want all this weight to be at the end of a boom arm. You know, you don't want to make it, your boom arm work hard if it doesn't need to be. And I also wanted to show you just very quickly the lights that work within the R2 system that the Explorer has. 
So this is the speed light that works with the system. It has a built-in transceiver, so you can actually use it to, um, to fire the Explorer if you ever lose your transmitter. And now, you know, it can easily be trans, uh, you know, fired by the R2 transmitter. So this is, the, this is the speed light that I mentioned earlier in the video. And I have the streak light as well. So it looks like a speed light, but it has 360 watts of power. So yeah, this is, this is it right there. These, these lights all work within the same system. So, you know, you can easily use a lot of lights, you know, with the one R2 transmitter. So yeah, pretty sure I got everything covered now. So take care, guys.